Hey Backyard Train fans, it's been a little while since we've actually uploaded a video of anything we've built. We uh, just wanted to show you guys and gals um, some projects we're working on, especially uh, this AAR truck project. And this uh, BNSW1200 in the background here, an inch and in, actually it's 1.6 inch scale. Really nice loco. Um, it's almost finished, it still needs the uh, number boards and some more decaling, but overall it's pretty much built and it runs. Uh, we've got deck, deck mounted ditch lights here, front and rear MU connectors, really nice scale louver vents inside this front grill, which uh, it's kind of hard to see, but they're actually in there. But actually we wanted to focus on these AAR trucks <clears throat> we're building for another gentleman. Uh, this is basically a finished look Finished set at this point on this SW1200 with brake shoes, etc. I just wanted to show you guys what goes into these trucks, which is quite a bit. Uh, we've got machine side frames, Siamese frames here that are actually laser cut on our laser cutter with machined um, spring blocks. We actually have uh, dummy brake cylinders which get welded onto the trucks, which are pretty nice. And this set of trucks is actually getting roller journals, journals, so these guys are, they still need to be machined, but, you know, they get these bushings pressed in once they're done. And, yeah, just here's a quick shot of motors, wheels, sprockets, and um, actually our own design for our motor supports and drive units. And recently we've gone with a uh, heavier duty or chain, which is actually an eight millimeter chain closer to a number 35, which we've had great success and we've been able to lower the gear ratios on the engines to about five to one for more pulling power. Uh, here's a shot at our 40 inch CNC wheels. But yeah, here's a little close-up of that SW1200. It still needs glass, window seals, and a few other things. This guy actually got the interior kit, top roof beacon. It's a lot of nice detail, and it got the automotive high gloss finish on it, which is a base coat, clear coat. And we're actually using scale 256 hex head nuts on all of our fasteners now for more realism. Here's a good look at what they look like. Pretty nice. They're actually a shoulder 256 scale bolt head. Alright, so there you go. Thanks for checking it out. Have a good one.